So when you find yourself in a position where you not only have to control what you do, but certain other things need to go your way, there is an inherent flaw in that system. Other things need to go your way. Welcome, welcome back, everyone, to episode number 43 of Bottom to the Top. How you doing this morning? I'm Mr. Cellophane. I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day. There are two matches left in what has already shaped up to be the best ever season in Kasim Pasha history. We're in our third year with the team. This is our FM24 journeyman, after all. Our second stop, if you haven't checked out the rest of the series, I recommend uh, going back to the beginning. You can watch all of them in a row. I would really appreciate that. Make sure you hit a like on, on each one of them, too, because, you know, that also helps. But I digress. We currently sit in second place on the table. And what I was alluding to is no matter how well we are doing, having won our last three matches in the league, we still need help. And Trabzon Sport is not helping. They did draw in their match before the last one to bring us within four points, but they were victorious again. So the four point difference between us and them could play a major factor in these final two games. Only six points are available. We have a Yupspor at home, which should be good for us. They are a mid-table side before we finish off the season at Galatasaray. It will be a little disappointing if we do end up those four points behind Trabzon Spore, because those four points were on the table and for the taking. If you were watching last episode, you saw us draw against Bazak Shahir nil nil, and you saw us do it by outshooting them 16 to 4, by outpossessing them 61 to 39, by having an XG of more than one goal higher, by having five shots on target to their none, and we still could not put the ball past Diogo Pinto. Yeah, that still really stings. Hitting the woodwork that time also did not help. So those are two points that we could easily have had back. But this one, I think, stings even more. The follow-up to that, we lost to Alanya Sport 2-1. We gave up the game-deciding goal in the 94th minute. We outshot them 30-6. to Ten of our shots hit the target. We hit the woodwork not once, not twice, but Three times. And if we had won either or both of those matches, this may be an entirely different episode. That all being said, as I mentioned, this is the best ever finish for Kasim Pasha in their history. We can finish no worse than third place, which is good enough for a Europa League spot for next year. We are still gunning for one of two Champions League spots. Now, if we win the league, we actually get to the Champions League league phase, which is, you know, that round robin, you play six matches against one of 32 other teams. Uh, if you come in second place, you get stuck in the second qualifying round. We definitely want to get guaranteed in the league phase. Of course, if you get knocked out of the Champions League, you end up in Europa League. If you get knocked out of Europa League, you can drop down to the Europa Conference League. So you're not one and done no matter what, but we would love the opportunity to play six European matches guaranteed next year. No changes on the horizon for us as we take on Ayub Spore in our final home match of the year. It's Myron goal. Furlong, Dem, Amenda, and Morgantini on the back line. A midfield of Ali Khan in front of Siddiqui and Donzi with an attacking pair of Sikishi and Yusuf with Mustafa at the top of the line. Uh, we have about a week before Bubakar Traore is going to be done the rehabilitation of his most recent injury. Hopefully he will be back in the lineup for Galatasaray. A win and we are in the Champions League for next year. If we couple that with a Trabzon Spore loss or draw, it will come down to the final match of the season to determine the winner of the Spore Toto Super League. And we are trying to make a bid for our first goal early on. Ali Khan, 16 seconds in, whistles his shot wide. 
And a perfect early opportunity. A couple minutes later, Amanda trying to get his head on that corner. Dropped down by Adem. Ali Khan is going to get his revenge. It's going to knock off of Nicholas Andres Paz. Paz is going to be credited with the own goal. But we know it was Ali Khan's drive. He was going for his, what, I think 11th goal of the season. Pretty amazing from a, from a central midfielder. But Paz sticking his leg up, directing it behind Andre. And uh, yeah, 1-0 Kasim Pasha. So we are getting it done and we are looking for more. Furlong on the corner. Amenda, header on, header in. His third goal of the season. We expected more of that from Oriol Amenda this year being a large presence in the middle on these set pieces. We were without a set piece coach for a number of months and that probably hindered his ability. Uh, Adam Dojan, though, to be fair, has, I believe, four or five goals off of corner kicks as well. So it has been spread around a little bit. And Yusuf looking to make it 3-0 from a very dangerous spot. He's got the free kick, directing traffic around him, looking to deliver, stepping up with his right foot. Oh, that's going to clatter off of the crossbar and out. So once again, Kasim Pasha getting bitten by the woodwork. Sakishi sending one in. Siddiqui can't get his head on it. Yusuf drops it to Donzi. His shot saved. Mustafa in front to pick up the loose garbage. His ninth of the year. Mustafa Demirsi puts Kasim Pasha up 3-0. Now, I should have gone probably into more depth on those three wins that we had in the league coming into this match. Uh, looks like it wasn't saved. It looks like it ricocheted off of Mustafa, then Alibo, and then back to Demercy to rocket it past Andres Ferrara or Ferreira, excuse me, for the goal. In our last match, we won 6 2. We were up 6 0 at one point, 4 0 at the half because of a dominant performance, very much like this one. Yusuf. Oh, just leaning back a little bit too much. Too high of an angle on that shot. Trying to make it 4-0. An own goal. R.L. Amenda with his seventh. Uh, Mustafa Demirsi with his... Um, not his seventh. His third in the seventh minute. Mustafa Demirsi scoring in the 19th minute. His ninth goal of the year. 16-3. The shot's advantage for Kasim Pasha. Possession's pretty even, but really this match has been all for the home side. And that is the thing about this Kasim Pasha team. We really have taken our chances all year long. As many shots on goal as possible as Bruno Paz trying to make up from his earlier mistake. He can't get the tight angle shot passed. Now, right now... Trabzon Sport is tied 1-1 early on in the second half with Bajiktas. So we are within two points of the lead, and it looks like we're going to have a chance to go up for nil. Referee points to the spot. VAR is going to take a quick look to see if they're going to overturn this one, but I have a feeling they are not going to. The penalty has been awarded on the push on Donzi, and Sakishi is going to step up and look to deliver again. His right foot, oh, he gets Andre to go the other way. Sakishi, his eighth goal of the year. Second consecutive penalty converted. Uh, he did want, had one in the last match on his way to a brace. It is Kasim Pasha for Ayup Spor, nil, 58 minutes into this match. And I think we are going to get some new blood out onto the pitch. Morgantini has picked up a little knock. So Gianluca Jimenez will come in his place. Umit Khan is going to replace Furlong. And uh, do we want to make one more change? We're going to get some Ed Hoposh in there for Ali Khan. Give him a little bit of a rest heading into the final match of the season. 25 minutes remaining as Meyer looking to get it started over to the far sideline he's got Umit Khan with room ahead of him playing it for Sakishi that was a beautiful pass through ball can't find some ed pause tracking it down Abdurrahman dropping it and getting it back to Alibo Abdurrahman sending it forward Adem intercepts that one but coming back away with it is Ayub Spor Ampem dropping it back for Abdurrahman Atalaibo across for pause 
little bit more space on this near side. Ito carrying it into the center, moving past one man, then two. Ito's going to shoot it from about 24 yards out. Got a little bit too much on it, though, and it went over. And oh my goodness gracious, Bajiktas has taken a 2-1 lead in that match. And Trabzon Spore's lead in the league is just one Atakan sending it in save made uh maybe it hit the woodwork maybe it hit the defenseman uh but Bruno Paz is going to be offside so none of that matters 21 to 7 your shots on goal as we tick down towards 10 minutes remaining in this match we are not going to make any more tactical changes because frankly we don't want to mess with what has been a very good thing Bajitas up 2-1 Late in that match, we are in added time here and a throw in in the final third for Ayub Sport. Trying to get one and stop the clean sheet for Brett Meyer. Atakan into the box, moving past one man. His shot on is going to be easily scooped up by Meyer. I think they just wanted to show him smugly accepting yet another clean sheet. We've only given up 29 goals in 32 league matches. Uh, so, wait, maybe it's a little more. That was a bit of an old statistic now that I think about it. But yet another clean sheet. Brian Meyer doing a fantastic job for us. Kasim Pasha beats Ayub Spor 4 to nil. And Besiktas has given us the help we needed, hanging on to a 2-1 victory. Trabzon Spor remains on top of the table at 71 points, but we are right behind them on 70. We have Galatasaray coming up. They're in seventh place, plus seven goal difference, which is 30 behind ours, and only 47 points on the season. We are 23 points ahead of Galatasaray. If you told me at the beginning of this season that was going to happen, I would not have believed you. Trabs on Spore, though has Adana Demerspor in third place on 64 points. They have a much tougher game on paper. However, they are at home. We are on the road. We have played pretty well on the road this season, just, you know, not outside of the country of Turkey. All it's going to take is a win against Galatasaray and Trabzon Spor to drop points against Adana Demerspor. If it happens, we're going to see our first trophy lift of the series. Hopefully we didn't just jinx things, but as we said before, uh, the last match began a win and we make the Champions League and we won. So we have qualified for the UEFA Champions League for 2028 and the board has set their initial budgets for next year. 150000 in the wage budget. That's about a 20 grand increase. Not too shabby. And a transfer budget of $1.2 million. Wish that was a little higher we may need to have some player sales to supplement that as we set ourselves up for our first ever Champions League run. And here we go. It all comes down to the final match of the season and one single change in the lineup because Bubakar Traore is once again available for selection. So here we go. It's Meyer and Goal. Furlong, Adem, Amenda, and Morgantini as our back four. A midfield of Donzi and Siddiqui behind Ali Khan with Sikishi and Yusuf on the attack with Traore pivoting in the middle as our striker. We need a win to fulfill our end of the bargain. If Trabzon Spore pulls off a victory, then what happens here doesn't really matter. They are at home against the Donna Demer Spore. We are on the road against Galatasaray. Now, there is a chance if we draw and Trabzon Spore loses that we can still be champions. And I say that as Sanchez picks up his first goal of the year on a set piece. As we failed to defend a corner. And that is not the way that we wanted to start. That is for absolute sure as Furlong fails to get up and get his head on that one. So we are now two points behind Trabs on Spore. If we lose and they lose, they are champions. If we win and they lose, we are champions. If we draw and they lose, we are champions. If we draw and they draw, they're going to win the title. 
And another corner chance for Galatasaray, but they are unable to take advantage of it. Only one shot on goal for Kasim Pasha in the first 25 minutes of this match, which is completely against our run of play heading into this one. Can the nerves be getting ahead of us? It's quite possible as Maus Aitekin uh, picking up his third goal again on a set piece. Delivered far post. Meyer unable to do anything with it. There is a chance that Atekin was offside, and he was. So it is going to come back. It's still 1-0 Galatasaray. However, bad news from the Trabzon Spore match. They are winning right now. They are on 74 points. Oh, but Sakishi taken down. A red card to Maslam Yildirim. That is going to put us up. 11 men to 10 for the remainder of this match. So nearly 40 minutes and change. Can we take advantage? Amenda with the ball. Feeding it wide. Looking for Morgantini. He does not find him. Dropped for a high sage. Intercepted though by Yusuf Inci along the far sideline. Dropping it for Donzi. He's got Ali Khan now. Donzi again. Siddiqui. One touch pass to Sakishi. Ahead for Furlong. Furlong taken out. Out. Sakishi is going to get there first before it goes over the byline. Sakishi in the middle. Siddiqui moving it to his right. He'll take the shot. He'll rifle it home. And his fourth goal of the year is going to equalize this match at one. But Joseph Furlong is down on the pitch still. He's still laying there. Is he injured beyond repair? Um, let's take a quick look. Hmm. Ah, it looks like he's looks like he's fine. Carry on. Nothing to see here. They took out two of our guys in that one little sequence there. Furlong delivering the free kick. Ali Khan can't get his head on it. Yusuf Inci, though, is able to find Furlong with the pass. Furlong drives it, and James Furlong with his third goal of the year puts it past Vasiljevic. For the second goal of the afternoon for Kasim Pasha. And with a couple of minutes left in this first half, we take a 2-1 lead. Great pass across the use of Incy. Furlong in space from range, drilling it into the back of the net. It is 2-1 Kasim Pasha. But Trabzon Spore is still leading at last check. Morgantini throwing it in. Amenda with it. Finds Donzi. Forward looking for Triore. He's not going to find him. Played ahead to Yusuf Yazishi. Back for Salih as Galatasaray looks to make one last push here in the first half. Far sideline. High Saj. Back for Kadrahan across for Sanchez. They will work it around the back before putting it ahead for Efe. Intercepted by Donzi, played for it. Yusuf Inci can't find Sakishi. Akardi can't get there before Siddiqui does. A dem with it. Over for Amenda, looking to find some head roads in on the far side. Morgantini moving it in the interior. He's got Ali Khan. Ali Khan finds Furlong. Furlong into the box. Furlong shoots and Furlong scores. His second goal of the afternoon is fourth of the season. It's Kasim Pasha 3, Galatasaray 1. And that should be just about where we end this first half. And it is 5-5. Five to five. We are even in shots on goal. Galatasaray has hit the woodwork. We have not. The difference being we have four shots on target to their five. We have 11 men to their 10. And ever since Moslem Yildirim was sent off in the 38th minute, this match has been all Kasim Pasha. And it's really been all James Furlong with goals in the 42nd and 45th minutes. In fact, we scored three goals in the 40th minute on. So three goals since we went up a man. That is taking advantage of your man advantage. Okay, part of me can't uh, believe that I just said that. Traps on Spore currently sitting on 74 points at the top of the table. We are on 73. Are we going to come just one point short? Oh, I hope not. Traps on Spore with the 1-0 lead right now over Adana Demerspore. Hopefully that changes. All we need is a goal from Adana Demerspor. 
to make our afternoon and have this be the absolute best season that we have had in our journeyman so far. Going to be looking to take a corner with a chance to go up 4-1. to one. Sakishi delivers near post. Can't find his man. Adem into the middle, headed clear. Sakishi looking for Amenda, but it's going to go out of bounds first. And a goal kick. Still 1-0 in tra Trabzon Spore. Furlong in, trying to add an assist. Sakishi with a drive. That's There's our woodwork for the match. It hits the crossbar and goes out. No further matches for us at the end of this one. And... Uh, Oh, I think we're going to fall on the short end of the stick here. Adana Demerspor, please, please, please score a goal. We've hit the 80th minute. Oh, my goodness. Yusuf Insi with the throw in. Siddiqui back for Insi. Amenda in the box for Adam across. Donzi with a drive. Andrea Donzi scores his third goal of the year. 4-1. Kasim Pasha did everything we needed to do on this run-in. We are relying on other teams to help us out a little bit. Traps on Spore looked like they were obliging for a while. But ultimately, in the final match of the season, they may be hanging on to take the championship. I mean, Champions League football is nothing to sneeze at. But to fall one point short of the championship after the season that we have had as a Cardi. Again, uh, turned away by by Meyer. Yusuf Yazishi to send it in. 87 minutes have gone by. Looking far post. Adem trying to clear. Ali putting it goalwards, but popping it over everything. Oh, no, 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 no. Three minutes added on. They are going to fall by the wayside. It is full time. We did what we needed to do. 4-1 at your score. But sadly, yeah, they we're just walking off. No trophy lift for us. Was that one match against Alanya Spore. If we had just pulled out a victory against Alanya Spore, 30 shots on goal. And yet we conceded in added time. And that did us in. I did just realize the 1.2 million that we're getting in transfer budget for next year is the 1.2 million we just got for coming in second in the league. Second straight season that we failed to turn a profit, which is a little, little disturbing, frankly. I mean, the board has given us as much money as as possible. We're just not bringing the fans in. I think we only have less than 700 season ticket holders. Hopefully that changes for next year. Speaking of next year, we have Champions League football to look forward to as we get set to head into season number four in Kasim Pasha, only the second stop in our journeyman, and we're already playing Champions League football five years in. It has been an incredible ride. We're going to prepare for the Champions League. We're going to talk a little bit about what the future of the save may potentially be, especially in relation to us being here in Kasim Pasha. We are committed to Kasim Pasha, but that may change. We'll talk about that more next episode. We'll also wrap up this season as we go into our July transfer window as we finish off the week here on Bottom to the Top. Thank you so very much for joining me. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, do all of those things that are necessary to support the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye bar. <laughs>